first and foremost, the vibe coming coming from Jeezy. That's family. Um, we made many hits together. From uh, first song I ever did with Jeezy was "Get Your Gang Stone," featuring Jody Breeze, uh-huh. followed by "Standing Ovation." Uh-huh. No, actually, followed by "Look" and "Trap Niggas" on Boys in the Hood project. Uh-huh. Then I did "Standing Ovation" with Jeezy. I did "White Girl" with Jeezy on USDA Cold Summer. Yep. I did, I put on with my city, Jeezy, Kanye West. I did Flex in with, with Gotti and, and Fabulous. Yeah, man. What I would did you Lose think? My Mind with what Plies would... and Jeezy. You yeah. know what I mean? Classic, man. Classic, man. Working with Master P, on the other hand, is like, wow. Like, you know, it's my first time. I'm bringing P back. I'm giving him his debut single for the I Got the Hook Up to. Mm. soundtrack like that's just that's what i got a kick out of it putting two legends two of the best put mixing the ice cream man with the snowman come <laughs> on bro and i did that oh i did that yeah that's cold that's oh, cold yeah. man <laughs> that's cold man now i hear you got the uh the, a trevor jackson single what's it like working with him because i know he's you know started in the acting business and, and now he's you know fully blown in the music thing so what's it like kind of getting with him on that record with Yachty on it and everything like that and, and kind of um man working working with Trevor is special, extra special as well. Like, you know what I mean? His his energy, he reminds you of Chris Brown mm-hmm. and that just that energy. And I didn't even know he sang like that. I was like, dang. So it, it kind of threw me off, but you know what I'm saying? He he hit me. Gazi actually hit me like, yo, Trevor Jackson gonna be in town. And uh, I was like, man, let's do it at house uh, at, at my studio, Hits Only. So we took it to Hits Only, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's my hashtag, Hits Only. That's that's what I'm about. And and the rest is history. It was like, man, call Yachty, let's let's put him on it. So and the rest is history. So man, so I pulled audience- up on him a couple times at his crib in L.A. He was just cool. He's like, man, come to the crib, man, kick it with me, play some more music. I want to play my album so you can get familiar. Right. And we just had a vibe since then. Dope, man. Dope. So out of all the classics, you know, all the Jeezy classics, all the classics from, you know, all these different artists, what would you say is the moment that you could reflect on um, and it's like the biggest moment for you personally, like in your legendary career? Because, you know, at this point, you know, it's... it's I got to say... Go ahead. At this point... Uh, I was going to say, I got to say, uh, No Hands, Waka Flocka. And I'm excited about executive producing his new album. We about to get together and go back in. Like, this should be so crazy. Like, okay, I brought back P. I'm yeah. going to resurrect Waka, like, on some whole other, like, you know what I mean? Right, so right. Just having that energy. So many people love our energy. No Hands still to this day moving booty. Yeah, that was a moment. No Hands was a moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Especially even yeah, even yeah, for Wale. Yeah, decade yeah, moment. Yeah, that, yeah. That that kind of broke Wale too. Cause before that record, I remember a lot of people didn't really rock with him. A lot of people don't understand. But after that record, it was kind of like he was mainstream at that point. You know, that was the record that got him through. Right. Man, right. So yeah, man. Coming from Memphis, like I know you. Um, what 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 are some of the like new artists that you're looking at? Is there anybody you know? Black boy just broke. Um, is there any new artists that you're kind of looking at? Pay Pat. Pay Pat. Pay Pat, not a one. Pay Pat, P A I D. Okay. P A T, Pay Pat, not a one. Young nigga going crazy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Key Glock. That's Dolph Lil Cousin for real. That's my homie. Like Key Glock going stupid. Paper Ralph Fizzle. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, Bread Gang homie. You know what I'm saying? Man, he on, on, on the money bag, your side, like his little okay. homie, Bread Gang homie. You know what I'm saying? D Moolah, official. D Moolah going crazy from the city. It's quite a few, you know what I'm saying? We just we just watch Glitter Gloss, a female rapper. She going crazy. Glitter Gloss 901. Okay. Dope. Dope, man. Yeah, man. Here at the Rap Fest um, and Brand Man Sean Network, we like to really give advice to, you know, a lot of the up and coming artists and producers trying to break in the game. So, you know, a lot of artists and producers, especially just trying to get in your position, you know, where, you know, they can have a 20 year career to look back at and, you know, plaques on the wall and hit records. 
that are gonna be played for the next fifty years. So like, what 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 advice can you give these guys that are like you know trying to get to that space? You know where you're at right now. Man, for really just about your grind, your hustle, and your love for it. You know what I mean? Most guys they 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 love the fame, or they love the fashion, or they love the jury, or they love the girls. But you gotta love the music. You gotta love what you do. Right. That's the number one thing. And right. if you love what you do, everything else is just gonna be there. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But the first first thing for me was loving the music and you're gonna have ups and downs, trials and tribulations, and you're being tested for a reason to see if you really who you say you are. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, I'm huge on on, on man, Lupe and Bruno, like man, if you are who you say you are, have no fear. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's real talk. So I, I think you have to have that type of attitude. Go listen to that record. Let that record inspire you, motivate you, and and and, and have your tools and craft, you know, polished. Right. In a sense. And if they're not polished, get around people who can help you polish these things. That's what basketball camps are for. These NFL camps. A lot of kids, are, they got talent, but you have to polish that talent. Right, right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You might not know how to throw with your left hand. You might not know how to fall back on your left foot. You know what I mean? And you see these athletes, they're trained and in, 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 in tip-top condition, and they're working with some of the best coaches. And it's the same thing with this music shit. You got to work with the best coaches. People yep. call me Coach Phil now. You know what I'm saying? We're putting rings. we putting championships on the table. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I follow guys like Dr. Dre, Jermaine Dupree, Quincy Jones, uh, uh, Pharrell. You know what I mean, Kanye West. Right, right. So, so I'm, I'm, the, you know, those are guys who led the way, and now you know guys like me are to follow. Yep, for sure, man. Like, what was what what got you into music in the first place? Like, what was that initial influence that really made you? Was it producing, or did you start like on the, on the drums or something like that? Um, I started producing, but it was all because of Big Bro, R.I.P. and Saint Wayne. I dropped my uh my a rap project called uh, My Brother's Keeper. You know what I'm saying? So you can check my rap shit. You know what I mean? My Brother's Keeper. Um, it's on all music platforms. I did a video for him called Live On, which been on BT and Revolt and a lot of different uh networks and whatnot. World Star. And um, you know, we just we just been been focusing on uh building up the label and 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 building up the artists, you know what I'm saying? Putting the artists under my belt, drum squad record. Okay. Dope, man, dope. Well, I know our viewers gonna be staying on the lookout for it. Um, I ain't gonna hold you up too long. Drummer Boy, thank you for your time, man. For sure, definitely check out the album, My Brother's Keeper, check out our drum squad album, The Collective Project, um, Trevor Jackson, Tell Me, featuring Lil Yachty, um, and, and of course, the Master P, uh, uh, go see the movie. I got the hookup coming out this Friday. New single in the streets. Coming to iTunes soon. Everybody been asking when it's going to drop. We got a special surprise for you. So stay tuned. Go see the movie Friday. I got the hookup part two. Follow me on Instagram at DrummerBoyFresh. Check out the website DrummerBoy.com. Always love. That's it, man. Cold summer, baby. Yes, sir. Cool. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.